please welcome to the stage your moderator and editor from Rotten Tomatoes. Give it up for Jacqueline Coley. Hello, 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 everyone. Wow, this room looks great. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and bring up the reason why you're here. The cast and filmmakers of Teen Wolf. First, Jeff Davis, Tyler Posey, Crystal Reed. Come on, y'all. Uh, Holland Roden. Come on, y'all. Mr. Colton Hayes. Shelly Hennig, Miss Shelly Hennig, Dylan Sprayberry, Kaylin Rambo, Vince Mathis, and Amy Workman. Wow. Hello. Thank you. Is we uh, clean up on aisle six? I don't know. Clean up, clean up on aisle six. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got excited. Oh, that's. We need a mop over here. Uh, that's oh. definitely gonna make the I'm highlight video. so sorry. Video. That is definitely gonna make the highlight video. Thank you. That's about right. <laughs> you broke a water bottle and not your toe this time. That's good. I love it. It's uh, we're back. Uh, first of all, thank you all for being here. And I just have to start. Thank you, Jeff, for this great cast reunion that I get to moderate. All right, I gotta. I can't even see y'all. There's too many of you. <laughs> Jeff, I have to start with you. Uh, this endeavor to bring all of these talented folks back, not for another season of television, but a movie, was kind of ambitious just to get them in a room. I was back in the green room and I was like, there's so many of them. So to then write an entire moving film on that was an even bigger endeavor. So why did you decide to do that again? <laughs> I, it wasn't my decision. <laughs> it wasn't your decision. <laughs> um, actually, to be honest, though, uh, it was a couple of different inspirations. Um, one thought was, could we bring Chris Crystal Reed back? And uh, I, had, I had always said that if we were going to do a movie, we would have to bring Crystal back. And so the ideas started percolate, percolating, and I said to Crystal over text, actually on Instagram it was, I said, are you ready to pick up the bow and arrow again? And we talked, and uh, there was magic still there. So I was excited to get back, and we're still working on it. Yeah, and we've, uh, we've seen a little bit already. I was blessed to unveil that trailer at Comic-Con. Did you guys see that trailer? It was pretty dope. Like you Just should. a tease. Just a tease, you know. Uh, and when she showed up, it was literally one of the biggest screams, which I definitely want to talk about. But Tyler, I, I do have to go ahead and start with you, sir, af as you spill water. I'm so sorry. We need, a, we need some towels over here. <laughs> oh, People are going to slip. Eventually. That They're thing not, exploded. You're not going to make some poor employee have to be a part of this now. Like, that's not like, they're kind of like we'll get so it sorry. later. <laughs> Got excited. I don't no, know. you're great. I love that excitement because I know it's because everyone in this audience is so excited that you guys are back. So that is exactly the energy that we need. I did it for you guys. I love you, yes. too. Yes. I love you, too. But I will say, this film, I've, I've already seen, from what we've seen and from what I've talked to with Jeff and you guys, he's in a very different place this time Ooh, Scott around. Scott McCall? Yeah, Scott McCall is in a very different place this time around. And just the time jump already put me in a bit of a moment, but everything he's sort of dealing with. So go ahead and just lay folks in on where we find Scott at the beginning of this. Again, yeah, it's it is crazy. Very so um, it's 15 years later. I don't know if anybody knows that, but we, we meet Scott as... A th in his mid-30s, in his early 30s. Scott McCall is a, not a teen wolf anymore. He's a 30-year-old wolf. And um, when, when we last left Beacon Hills, all that crazy shit, like, Beacon Hills carries a lot of weight for Scott. Uh, emotionally, physically, you know, he's constantly on edge, trying to save the world, trying to be the true alpha, you know what I mean? So, 
being an adult, he wanted to get away. He wanted to get away from Beacon Hills and kind of start a new life, see what's out there. Um, put down the hero role for a little while, you know? And that's all Scott knew, ever. Because he's the true alpha, he became the true alpha because he is innately a hero. And putting down that role, it's made, he's lost himself a little bit, you know? We, it's the, the first time we see Scott, it's the first time we see him do stuff normal, as a normal person ever since the pilot, you know? It's the first time we've seen Scott kind of with human emotions and, uh, not, not that he didn't have any human emotions before, but he's doing stuff that a normal person would do, you know? It's pretty intense to see Scott doing a mundane, normal life. Um, and he's also lonely because he's missing something in his life. He's missing the hero role. He's missing friends. He's missing Beacon Hills. He's missing family. And so we see Scott as a sort of troubled adult, you know, depressed, kind of dealing with loneliness for the first time. And it's really special and powerful and impactful. And I think a lot of us can relate because last time the show was out, everyone grew up with it, you know. And now we're all adults, like legitimately adults. You know, there's some people I've met that look like they're my age, and they're like, I've been watching you since I was like six years old. And I was like, how the hell? <laughs> how old are you? <laughs> and so everyone who grew up with the show is now an adult and is dealing with depression, dealing with loneliness, anxieties, and that's kind of how we pick up Scott McCall. So it's, it's the first time we've seen him dealing with depression, anxiety, loneliness as an adult. And it's, uh, I thank you, Jeff, for writing that because it was, it, was, it was fun to play that side of Scott, you know? Yeah. And actually, we don't have to vision it, because uh, Jeff, are we going to let him see? We're going to let him see. We have a new trailer coming, but for now, uh, we're going to show you a scene. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the scene was actually supposed to be, there was someone supposed to be here for, to help the scene be introduced, but he's actually stuck in traffic. <laughs> really is. But, but, uh, but, you know, I will say Ty yeah. Tyler Hecklin gives his blessing to show the scene because yeah. you're about to see him in a whole new light. Yeah. Shall we roll the clip? Yeah, let's roll it. You know, you know what's funny about that is the first edit of it, they were like, let's play the whole scene. I'm like, we're not playing the whole scene. <laughs> well, if you're going to come back, that's the way to come back. I will go ahead and say, Crystal, that's the way to come back. Wow, wow. So first and foremost, you kicked his behind. Let's just go ahead and start there. Uh, that was so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, Allison, I will have to say, first of all, you weren't in the room at Comic-Con, but the sound was deafening the minute you came on screen. They just jumped up and down like, I, I, I mean, you, you rivaled Sarah Michelle Gellar as far as like the, the noise, ma'am, and that's a, a pretty, I think, amazing feat. So what was it like hearing about that reaction? You weren't there, but man, you were there in spirit. Because if you were there, I would have given away, you know. Yeah. Would have given it away. <laughs> I, I really love Allison as much as everyone else does, but I'm always so humbled by just the amount of support she gets because I just approach her from such an honest place and, and I know that I'm bringing a lot of myself to it. So every time, um, every time I hear that, it makes me just so grateful to be an actor and to know that um, I'm doing my job and I'm, I'm telling the story that, that affects people and I'm so grateful that I have the ability to bring you know, Jeff's character to life and, um, and I'm, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And can I just go ahead and say how great it is to see you sitting next to Holland, like just, just for my like <laughs> visual, like I feel the serotonin just coming watching you two on, on a Comic-Con stage. And I, I think what I really love about this story is I feel that your two characters, I mean, you, you look very mad in that moment, but I just feel that just the first time she sees Allison, everything that's gonna come flooding back for so many of these characters, but especially for yours, Holland, like I feel like- Or is it? Or is it? Oh, wait, well, <laughs> you wanna educate me? I would love to hear it. Are we allowed? We are definitely yeah. not allowed. Don't, don't, oh. Earmuffs, say, Jeff. don't say a word. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you though, there's a moment, I did show Crystal um, a scene the other night. I texted her, and I'm like, you gotta see this, because um, it, it affected me. And uh, 
it was a scene between her and Holland, and I'm not saying anything else. I was not, re I did not receive a text. Oh, well, do you know what scene he's talking about? Or at least maybe you could set the stage for what to expect, Miss Holland? Do you want, do you know which one? Well, did you, well, why don't you just take us back to doing a scene with Allison for the first time after all these years? Because I think that was probably a special moment, just doing a scene together. I actually am really happy to see um, <laughs> Lydia and Jackson together again. That is true, too. That is pretty true, too. Give her back her key. Oh! He still has my house key on and off screen. I do, yeah. <laughs> um, but I would say that the one thing I think you guys are going to really love, that I personally loved, and hopefully that it translates, is, is just that reunion on screen is, uh, is real and feeling those characters come back together. Um, you know, I, I hadn't seen Posey in a while, and so when you see Lydia and Scott on screen, hopefully that feeling is what you feel too that we felt when we were filming it. Um, it's like a big hug and it's a big, you know, it's a, it's a really nice reunion. But this one I see weekly, so it wasn't that emotional. Oh no, I, I kind of pre-warmed them. First of all, fabulous. Everyone looks fabulous, I, I might have to add. Like y'all all could just like go back into the, into the Letterman uniforms, I love it. But Mr. Colton, sir, how does it feel um, to finally answer the question, where's Jackson? Like, you can finally say it, he's back. <laughs> it's wild to think that it's been, what, 12 years since we did this? Yeah. Um, and I'm so happy that I got to come back. And it was funny, because Posey and I were talking about, this is loud. Um, uh, Posey and I were talking about how, you know, we've known each other for so long, but when I came back as Jackson, I, you know, Jackson's kind of annoying and a little bit of a prick. Um, and I have this monologue, and he kept laughing in my takes, and I was like, we're never gonna get this done. Like, so we're, so, we're all so close that, you know, it definitely, we're just excited to be here. Also, today is Holland's birthday, everybody. Yes! So can we just, okay. So I just, I, I had to get that out. I not I had to get that out. That. Happy birthday, we love you. Thank you. What did you get her? Um, <laughs> it's just love. <laughs> uh, Jeff called us that. ketchup and mustard when we showed up, and he's not wrong. I was like, oh, we look like yeah. ketchup and mustard. We totally do. <laughs> but good, but very. I well. love condiments, so there you go. That's my birthday present. I don't like mustard. I love it. Um, Shelly, hello, ma'am. Thank you for being back here. Yes. I'm so happy to see you as well. I, I do have to say, what I'm most excited about with your character is just the fact that you're going to get to have your own arc and just really and have your own story this time around. And I'm just curious, what are you excited about or what can folks look forward to this time around? Because I feel like with the movie, it's like you can really take the story anywhere you want to go. Yeah, I was, I was really pleased and excited to hear that Jeff wanted me back. Um, and I loved his, his pitch and what, where he thought Malia would be. And um, I... Shelly was having her own arc this year, so I brought that into Malia, and they're like, yep. Um, and it was, you know, I, I play Malia a lot more vulnerable, or at least that's what I thought I was bringing to it. I don't know, I haven't seen it. I haven't gotten text messages of scenes. Um, there are some Jeff They're coming, I think, I think they're incoming, yeah, right? they're coming. Uh, no, I, I trust Jeff with my life, and these people right here, it was just amazing. And, and to what Holland said, it was a real feeling of, being reunited, and I got to know them even more. I mean, Crystal and I never really filmed together. Um, Holland and I got to spend a lot more girl time together. I got to know you a little more. You know, like we all just, we have new characters and new friends, and um, yeah, Malia kind of has her own little journey, but it's still about the pack, and it's still about um, having them in her life or not having them in her life, depending on which part of the movie we're looking at. Yeah, and I will say, everyone watching, I think right now, and everyone who was at Comic-Con, and really everyone who's a fan of the show, like, I just felt it being a moderator for, like, the first panel. When I first said I was doing it, a lot of people were like, oh my god, like, it's happening, and I just, I was just slightly older than the, like, I shouldn't have been watching Teen Wolf, but I was, like, I was into it, <laughs> whatever, we all had our phases. And, and so I just didn't understand it until I saw it, but I think with, like, Kale, and especially Dylan, with you guys, you guys felt it 
the entire time and you guys have always felt it. What does it feel like? Because I have to feel like after the last season, you thought that's it. I don't think I'm coming back and now here we are. So what is it like being back? And Dylan, I'll start with you. Well, <laughs> it is, uh, it's quite lovely. Um, <laughs> being back is, has been uh, amazing. I, uh, it's funny, when I came onto the show, I was the youngest wolf and now we have a new young wolf, so uh, I don't, I'm not that a character anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Knee clap. Um, so it was really cool to, to pass that off and uh, to, to take more of a um, mature approach to, to Liam. And, uh, and I have a, a new love interest as well, Amy. She's an amazing scene partner, an amazing actress, and uh, we kick a lot of ass together. And uh, it was really great to come back and, and do something uh, uh, in a refreshing way. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Honestly, um, everything he said, it kind of it, it felt like, we've said this before, but like Teen Wolf was kind of like my college. Like I didn't go to college, so the time that I was supposed to be in college, I was filming Teen Wolf, and I, we were filming in high school. So I got to f kind of imagine what that experience would be like, but it became like a really deep learning experience and then you know it ended and life happened and we all experienced just boy did it happen it happened <laughs> and um it was crazy to see like I mean I changed as a person but the essence was still there and I saw that the same thing was with every single person that was a part of the cast originally and so I, it was a surreal kind of twilight zone experience it's like imagine going back to high school with all of your original friends but you guys have evolved and you're back in this space where you weren't I, I, it was just, I, I wouldn't have, it felt like a dream, honestly. So I'm very grateful, very blessed, and um, I'm excited for, to see how it happens and see you guys' reaction, because it's been great so far. It's been an amazing journey. I love that so much. Um, for Amy and Vince, it's, I'm sure, incredible, but also intimidating to join something like this, especially with the history of every single person on this cast, in addition to just the fact that, you know, you guys are, this is a very big thing to do, I think, obviously, for both of you. So, Amy, what was it like for you that sort of, well, first of all, were you, like, you can lie if you want to, and so I'd be like, how familiar were we when you joined? How familiar were we with the lore? I... Um, had not watched the show. I, I had watched a couple of episodes just for like acting class stuff. Like I studied the show in my acting classes. Hey. Um, <laughs> but I'd never watched it. And it was definitely intimidating because it was like, it's like being the new kid in school. It's like, am I gonna make friends? Am I gonna work well with people? Um, but Dylan was one of the first people that I met and we like instantly clicked. We're, <laughs> we're super close now and we work really well together. Um, and everyone was genuinely like so welcoming and so kind and it felt like joining a friend group. There was no weird adjustment period where I was like, I don't know how these people feel. Like everyone is so, so wonderful. It was really, really cool. Oh. so much. Um, I want to also make sure too that I, I give this opportunity because Jeff, I don't think we've actually told anyone when they get to see it, right? We haven't told them. Hold on, we forgot fans. Yeah, but, but for us, they, want, they, want, they definitely want us to make sure everybody knows first. Um, well, I saw something online that said it was coming out October 15th. Um, <laughs> you could see it on October 15th, but I don't think you'd want it to come out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the official date is January 26th. Oh. On Paramount Plus, and you can watch it over and over and over. Yes, on repeat. <laughs> Uh, Vince, I'm going to give you the last question, yeah. which I think is fitting, because yeah. you're not only stepping into the Teen Wolf shoes, but you're stepping into the, like, legacy family. Like, you're stepping into, like, yeah. you know, there's a lot it's that a comes lot. with that. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> so what was that like? Because I, I really liked even <laughs> seeing Tyler and Scott, just the idea of them having this big brother moment with you. I love it. It's right. I feel like I uh, have a lot of big brothers and fathers in this uh, movie. Um, I feel like the original show... I'm the show, grandfather. I, <laughs> I feel like uh, the original show works so well because it was a coming of age and there's all these teenagers just coming together to fight this one force of evil and uh, just watching them grow up and, you know, these, these actors grew up on it, you know, in real life and just to see them grow as characters is really cool and um, I would say that I bring that element kind of back into this movie, you know? It's called Teen Wolf and uh, 
And yeah, I don't know. But also to that, <laughs> to, to that point, um, yeah, everybody was just so welcoming and amazing. And I feel like I, I have big shoes to fill in, in real life, but also in this film. And I have a lot, I'm, I'm look, like my character is looking up in this movie. I'm looking up to all these, I mean, you got Scott McCall and you got Derek and you got all these wolves and I'm just like, what, you know? Um, but I'm like that right now too, this is surreal. So yeah, thank you guys. Also, uh, just real quick for the people that this is your first time on a Comic-Con stage, what's up? Like, this is, uh, the last time I did public speaking was uh, we had to make these graveyards in school. <laughs> and about, I did it about, uh, oh gosh, I forgot the name, not Harrison Ford. Who's the person who invented the car? I can't remember. <laughs> Hen Henry it doesn't Ford? matter, besides the point. Did Harrison, and I was scared, did Harrison but Ford not invent cars? Not, that, Harrison Ford's an actor, <laughs> he's an actor, not Harrison Ford. It's another H or something, I don't remember. Henry, Henry Ford. Ford, thank you. Last time I did public speaking was for that and I was pooping my pants. And now I'm here and uh, doing the same thing, but it's fun, it's fun. Yeah. Are you peeing now? Yeah. Peeing. Literally As we young speak, that, that, I, that's my that, pee right, yeah, there. There right there. I mean, this is great. I just love it. Um, we're gonna go to some audience questions really quickly. Um, I believe we have a microphone set up, correct? although I don't know where. To the left. There, sh there we go. I see a Scarlet Witch. Giddy up. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm from New Jersey. And I'm sorry, this is more for the veteran people. But um, how has your growth as an actor changed the way you think of your character or prepared? Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's a posy question. How has the growth of m me as an actor changed the way that I approach the character? Uh, I mean, the great thing about Teen Wolf, um, you know, or any TV show that anybody gets to be on and watch religiously is that you constantly get to watch your work and be like, okay, I can improve in these moments and improve here and in here and here. And the entire thing was like a learning lesson for me. You know, even though I've been acting since I was six, I was still using it as a means to kind of improve my, my craft. And, and all that, you know, and so um, you'd never stop doing that, you know, it's, always, it's a muscle that you always want to keep exercising and finding new ways to play the character and, and you know, going through life. You, you, you genuinely f learn a lot about acting and how to apply it while growing and going through crazy shit and gnarly experiences and good and happy and bad and sad and so you just apply life, at least that's how I take it, you, you apply life to, to your work and I thought it was very symbolic and, and serendipitous that Scott was in an area that's, you know, a little, a little down and, and heavy. And I've gone through some heavy shit since, since the show ended. And so it was, it was nice to kind of apply real life. That's kind of how I act. I, I try to do it as naturally as possible without, like, Meisner technique or whatever. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, did that answer your... Sweet. Thank you. All right. Y'all can yeah. fight me, I know, but we are out of time. There's one too more, many of them. One more, one we, more, We can't, because we have another whole panel. Okay. But otherwise, <laughs> I would. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really am. Come on, but, one more. But, Let me get it. Come here. Step up to the microphone. Let's see. All right. He can make override. It he can override. Step up. Make it step quick. Up, step up. Make it quick. Make it quick. Yeah. Make it quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We got you. 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 Love go your ahead. outfit. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm Emily. Hi, Emily. Um, um, you guys filmed together for years, and obviously it's been years since you wrapped filming. And revisiting these characters and these sets and these stories, I was wondering if it like brought back like any specific really fond memories that you guys had growing up together on set. Do you want to do this one, Allison? Do you want to do this one? Did any memories come back when you? Yeah, came back? sure. All of the memories came back for me, um, and it was really clear to me how much. I had grown as a person and how I was able to put that into Allison's journey. But um, I don't know, when I look back at the, the pilot days and I think about who we were then, th our essence of who we are is still the same. And that is so genuinely beautiful. And it's such a gift to be able to have those, that first year together, I think. Yeah, you were having flashbacks when I was in the lacrosse outfit. Yes, I was. I really was. And the, the cool thing is, oh, 
There may be flashbacks in the film. I don't know. Don't say another oh. word. <laughs> All right. Y'all don't get me in end trouble this panel. if I do not get them off the stage. I'm so sorry, but I want to thank you all so, so very much. Thank you. I want to thank time. you guys. And thank, thank you, you all. Stick around. We have This four. wouldn't be possible without you. You guys brought Teen Wolf back. Yeah. Thank you I'm so much. Yeah. We love you. Let's keep it going. And... More January 26th, what? Paramount Plus. Thank you all. And then while our Teen Wolf folks walk off, Jeff. Yeah. I'm supposed to stay here? Yeah, yeah. Me and Jeff are going to hang out here because I think we're going to talk about some more fun stuff. More werewolves. I know. We have more things to discuss. Thank you all so very much. We're in each other places. Thank y'all.